Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at two strong buy dividend stocks under $30. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at two stocks that are currently priced under $30 per share, have a high dividend yield, and also a strong buy consensus from Wall Street analysts. So we're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and of course, how Wall Street is weighing in on the stock's future. Now I came across today's stocks using the TipRanks stock screener. Of course, the stock screener can be found over on the TipRanks website under Research Tools. For our filters here, I put in a stock that did have an upside potential greater than 5%, a very high dividend yield over 5% as well, and a strong buy consensus from analysts, and trading on the major exchanges. And that gave us our list down below. I then sorted by price to help me find that price range there. The first dividend stock that we're looking at today is Viper Energy. Their stock trades under the ticker VNOM, currently priced at $27 per share. Now they have seen some ups and downs this past year and overall are down 1.4% and 5% in the last three months. Viper Energy is a limited partnership and a subsidiary of Diamondback Energy. Their purpose is to own and acquire mineral and royalty interests in oil and natural gas properties, primarily in the Permian Basin. Their primary business objective is to provide an attractive return to their unit holders by focusing on business results, generating robust free cash flow, reducing debt, and protecting our balance sheet. Their unique relationship with the primary operator, Diamondback, does reduce uncertainty around their pace of development and their zero capital requirements means that they are insulated from inflationary cost pressures. And of course, that free cash flow generation that they mentioned is directly related to their dividend. Their last quarterly dividend was 36 cents per share for a dividend yield of 5.86%. And that dividend is variable as Viper is committed to returning at least 75% of their cash available as a distribution to unit holders. And this year, Viper is expected to generate about $3 per unit in distributable cash flow for a roughly 10% annualized yield. They shared their last quarterly results back at the start of May where they did come out with an earnings beat. Now their next quarter is actually due out today on July 31st, so we'll be keeping a close eye on that in the after hours. Analysts will be anticipating earnings per share of 31 cents. And looking at the previous quarter, they did have a nice 20 cent beat there, so hopefully we see some positive results tonight. Now in that last quarter, they also increased their average production guidance, which will now imply a 10% year over year growth their stock currently has seven analyst ratings coming in as a strong buy. And the average price target comes in at over $35 per share, which would be a growth potential of 31.5% from current prices. And we do have some recent ratings in just the last couple of weeks coming in from five-star analysts, ranging from an upside of 28% all the way up to 57%. And our second strong buy dividend stock is Enterprise Products Partners. Their stock trades under the ticker EPD and is currently priced at $26.50 per share. Now their stock has seen growth of over 7% in the past year and is up a couple percent in the last few months. Enterprise Products is a midstream energy services company. Their integrated energy infrastructure network provides midstream energy services to producers and consumers of natural gas, natural gas liquids, crude oil, refined products, and petrochemicals. They link producers from some of the largest North American supply basins with domestic consumers and international markets. With over 50,000 miles of pipeline, they have 29 natural gas processing plants, 25 fractionators, and 20 deep water docks. This year, EPD increased their dividend payout for the 25th consecutive year. They currently pay a quarterly dividend of 50 cents per share for an impressive dividend yield of 7.3%. Their dividend also follows the structure of a 75% free cash flow payout ratio. Following an earnings beat back in May, their next earnings report is coming out tomorrow on August 1st. For their Q2, analysts will be anticipating earnings per share of $0.59, cents, which is a slight decline from last year. Looking at their previous quarter, they did come in $0.03 cents ahead of analysts' expectations. Also, keep in mind that as a partnership, they do issue K-1s for their tax returns, so make sure you check that out. Their stock also comes in as a strong buy based on seven analyst ratings. 
That strong buy rating comes with a price target of $33.43, which would be a growth potential of 26% from current prices. And once again, we do have several five-star analysts recently weighing into the stock in the last few weeks. Recent price targets range from an upside of 13% up to a high of 32%. So there we have two strong buy dividend stocks, both with attractive yields and upside potential according to Wall Street analysts. Let me know your thoughts on these two companies in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. And please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock. Just keeping you up to date with what Wall Street analysts are up to and providing some information and entertainment. So please make sure you always do your own research and due diligence. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.